Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 188 of... Alright, what's the issue? I'm just terrified she's gonna start taking up like her big sis. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking, maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl, and all around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? Uh, just here for Nat. Keep your distance. Just love her. I just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away. Because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Just friends, huh? Uh, well, yeah, I guess. I, I thought, I thought so. Unless, you know, something changes. God, did it get hot in here? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you wanna hit the road? Okay, so that's why that's another thing that uh, I wanted to record that we need to talk to her once in a while. So that we can develop our charisma with her and our relationship with her, and that uh, and the nice thing about this game is that you know it doesn't have to be hetero. <laughs> anyway, so uh, what I was thinking is that okay, I've moved the X01 suit, so now we're only missing a right leg for this one, and then we will have a complete uh, suit of armor here which we can now fully modify. Like this one is fully modified, but this one does not have the jetpack. We will turn this one into a jetpack one. And then that's the one we will be using all the time. Anyway, um, so uh, what I was thinking, should we get her, I, I, let's, you know, you know what? Let me save this. And then uh, what I want to do is send her you know, send uh, Piper, uh, I don't know where to send her. Maybe send her to uh, to Sanctuary. Because what I want to do is bring uh, Ada with us. I just want to see how deadly she has become. Hey, you say the word. Blue, you got a minute? Sure thing. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she gonna have if I never go near her again? It's just sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with a nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> you're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to right the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> There was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Things got better? Still a lot of work to fix that town. Oh yeah, but it's come a long way. 
When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but... Being here with you now... Now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you... For being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I... I mean... <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just... Blue. I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> That's, uh, that's a new one. Well... Hmm. Well, I think you're perfect, too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. Having reached the highest level of affinity with Piper, you have gained the gift of Gab. Cool, okay. <laughs> so, sleeping while you have a romantic companion nearby, Temporal grants you the lover's perk. Whoa, okay. Uh, let again save you. So, our this is episode 188, and it's about, or 189. I'm not very sure what the level this is, but this is the romance level. Okay. Let's save this. So we have successfully gotten uh, Piper to be our our equal half. Okay. Anyway, uh, what the thing was that I was trying to see if to send her off to a sanctuary to stay because we're gonna bring. Oh, let's say what if we bring her with us. Ada, let's talk Ada. to Ada. Would you like me to go with you? Yeah, let's get moving. Time to hit the road. Wonderful. I look forward to traveling with you. Send Piper to uh, Hangman's Alley, Murkwater. No, uh, Spectacle Island. No, uh, to the castle. No, to Sanctuary. Yeah. Okay, uh, now that we've done that, we need to go to Murkwater. Get our old armor back. I just don't know how sturdy our... Um, Ada is. Uh, uh, I think we still need to hit more, what do you call this, more robots so that we can get more schematics. Okay, uh, you know what? Should we uh, build up the... Yeah, I think let us do the uh, settlement. Because we have... Oh, we have zero food, zero people. Uh...
Yeah, let's let's not do this and let's not turn this into a settlement. So that this would be like our safe area we can come to. Then let us check. Uh, what are the other missions? The slog, kill the super mutants in Medford. Okay. Set up the MILA. Report back to. Okay. Oh, go to the dead drop. Okay, let's check on the map. I'd like to clear out the gunners again, but no. Uh, I'll do that on my own time. <laughs> Medford. We want to clear out the Medford, right? Uh, where's Medford? That's a dead drop right here. That's not. That's Med Tech. You know what? Since we got Ada with us, uh... A new threat. Investigate General Atomics Factory. That is what... Uh, that's what Ada wants us to do. Right? I thought General Atomics Factory will be here. Yep, that's here. And then this one is four leaf packing plant is. Okay, so we can come. What would be the closest place to get there? This is Big John Salvage. Let's go to the castle. And let's see how. Uh, Ada performs. I'm just excited because we gave her all that uh, adi new additions, right? Now, if I think if we can give her a sentry body, she would be an absolute beast. Okay. We've got 18 people here. We've got 20 beds. 24 food. Okay, we're fine. Okay. Keep going, human strong board. Might start smashing everything huh? so bored. How come this they should strong remove this minute man already? I'm it just feels really bad to have her it's like we didn't do enough I just put her yes. there let's come to the uh, Okay, uh, let's get out of here.
Ooh, fusion core! <laughs> so these things respawn. So this is a good place to keep on uh, getting more grenades. Uh, we should have taken this spot earlier so that we can always get all these... Uh, uh, get the, uh, what do you call this, get the response up early. Okay, uh, where are we going? Up north? Across the water? Okay. We could just cross from here, right? Oh no, okay, uh... Can we even get up there from here? Okay, let's go to the other side. I mean, let's go through the warehouse. I thought that would be <laughs> like a Is it? Uh, okay, it is to our Assassin sledgehammer? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> We're too greedy trying to rub stuff. Okay, how do we get to the other side? This must have been killed by Ada. We got this one. still headed uh, in that general direction. You know all these junk parts here? It's very possible that there is another hidden uh, armor or a power armor. Yeah, we just need to look for like a military vehicle or transport or something. Okay, I think that's the one, right? Where are we? Oh, no, no, it's this one to our side. It's this one. Okay, let's save this before going in. And if we find that there is a legendary spawn in there that can be controlled, then we can do another one of those... Uh, Uh, it's been a while since we've been to the Hubris comics. Maybe we can continue to farm that one for another, uh, let's say for a mini uh, explosive minigun. Well, we don't really need one because uh, Ada is doing it that for us.
Wow. Ada got destroyed. Ada got destroyed, man. not do anything first looking at all this equipment makes me feel right at home find anything useful I think we need Ada to be uh, a little stronger She's a little weak compared to the uh Yeah, she she fell immediately after uh, that encounter with this thing. These things are tough. Oh legendary combat Ooh enhanced combat Vats enhanced. Okay, we will use that one. Okay, anyway, our timer went off, so I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Bye!